Alrighty, let's check this out. Okay, cool to see. Some good stuff there. I think generally, there's some detailed stuff on the feet and the hands, but I think generally, watch out. There's some really sharp movement that goes back here on that up right there. 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 So that's, that's a bit, I would loosen that a little bit. Take out that, especially this here, when you look at this point here, how it goes up and then suddenly to the right and it's only up again. It feels a bit like this. That's just a bit sharp. Same with these guys. When they go up, you can track that corner and it goes up and then it hits that wall. So you put onion skinning there. Boom! Hits that wall there. And the other one, same thing. By the time we hit this area, it hits that wall. So you can see how it just shoots up and then stops. So you would have to go here, one, two, three, maybe till here. Just kind of ease in and out of that direction change. Like in terms of pops and bigger moments, I think that's what I'm seeing the most. In terms of loosening up a few things, if you're keeping this speed at which the head goes out this way, even if you smooth out, like I said here, if that head goes to the right so quickly, it's still totally vertical going this way. So during that phase, that head would go from here to here. It would drag, so the nose would be, you know, here-ish. The whole thing would drag and overlap a little bit and then come back down. Watch out for that. And then if you go, let's say, let's take this side, you go up so big with this arm, you're going to have a lot more shoulder movement going up. Like this wouldn't be so so straight, it would be like this. So all that will move up and that will give you more room for the arm and you'll be twisted. So this feels a bit disjointed there where only this side is going up, but it has no real effect or at least not enough. And then same thing when you, it's a bit tricky. Like right now, when you have the weight over this arm, you actually have the body go up. So it's not that it's wrong. It's an alien creature, you do whatever you want to some degree. But you would still think in terms of once this is down, this is going to push up. So on that moment here, you would actually bring that shoulder up and it would have this go up. It's like if, imagine big cats, tigers, stuff like that. When they move and you got that big shoulder blade, the scapula that goes up. It's just a bit of a different idea because you're really going up on the opposite side versus... Technically, on a cat, it would be like this, where this is fairly straight, scapula is up, and this arm is still in the air, but this goes up. You're doing the opposite. It's a bit more cartoony. But I would just watch out that your shoulder doesn't shoot back over a couple of frames and then stops. So watch out. There's some, some wobble sharpness in this area when you go back there. For cleanup, the tail needs some cleanup. There's some wobble up and down and intersections through the ground. But none of that matters because, and it's a bit tricky, the zoom in is always a bit fuzzy on, with that tool. But you can see that the moment the leg, let's see, bam, this hand goes to the ground. This is where it needs to be locked. And now we can see there's rotation, there's translation to the left, and then it slides back to the right. And then as it goes up, it should be pivoting off this side, but then it's again it twists over this way so this needs to be really locked you can have some compression through that and then the fingers can splay out and then come back in to some degree but generally it shouldn't be sliding around like this that's for both there's a lot of sliding left and right and then in terms of there's a bit of a you have a double frame that you didn't take out so bring this up here you can see here frame 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 and then there's nothing here so i would just take that extra frame out so you don't have that hiccup in your loop so that feels better my main concern is that when this gets to the ground that everything is even as it goes back it seems like it i think so but then towards the end suddenly it feels a bit stronger 
not quite sure. Just make sure that that translates. Like the moment this hits the floor and then goes back up in your graph it's basically this impact and lift off no keys in between it's just a straight line because i feel like when you look at the back legs they go back i feel like there's a slight ease in here and then watch out this doesn't quite work where they're kind of locked in space you can see that especially here they would have to continue so that foot would be back here so as this goes back goes back like this it doesn't go back like that yeah the other one as well and you can see from the top view the sharpness as well in the head when it goes to the right it just hits it hits a wall right there boom 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 so that's mostly that for this one Cool stuff though, but you know, classic cleanup type of things. And this is the same thing. There's a bit of a pause at the end because I'm getting actually here and then one, two frames of nothing. So really make sure that your, your loops are correct. And it has a bit, what I was concerned about is that really fast move down. It gives it a good drive in a way, but it's really going uh, down. But it also makes the creature feel fairly light. Because it's going to be up to you kind of how much how much you want to, you know, change the perception of the weight. I think it comes down to the same thing with this one in terms of the spacing. Like if you look at the head, this could be in any view. I don't know, take this one. As it goes up, it goes up, it goes up. And then it kind of stays in that area. You can see here, big jump from here to here. And then gets small. And then it goes immediately down. Boom. It's a bit harsh, not super crazy like the other version, but a little bit of clean up there. And you can see how the head, if you look at that, the head goes back, back, and it kind of stays. You can see this in the spacing here. It stays again, put, and then it goes forward a little bit. So watch out that that's a bit smoothed out. It's pretty cool though. I'll probably reduce the left and right in the tail by half because at that speed, the faster you go, the less swappy, uh, floppy left, right you're going to have with the tail. It's going to be a bit more streamlined. And then here it feels especially a bit out of control in that, in that view. So I will probably cut the up and down with function by half and then left, right by half. And then you can be a bit more complex in the head. So as this goes down, you might have a little bit of an arc this way. <sighs> Right now it feels all a bit straight. I like that there's a slight hint this way ro rotated and you can also add a bit more side to side roll. Just a bit more complex in the rotations. The hands are wobbly though. I feel like I'm not quite sure that they're really locked from the front view. And I think they're okay upon impact it seems a bit small spacing wise already from here to here then it's big then it seems pretty solid and then it swoops back but it's off the ground but then careful when you go from here to here it's pretty big but then from here to here it's pretty small so you might want to be a further back with that hand just for a moment there and then the back legs are not too bad because they do actually a cool Get on there, and then they're here, here. That's a bit shifty here. Your spacing here is suddenly bigger from here. So again, watch out, that's all clean, because from here to here it's big, from here to here is smaller. But this is cool how you go up there. It's a good arc there. Yeah, it's nice and aggressive, for sure. And imposing for here, you can probably bring those fingers together into a more streamlined pose so they're not always kind of defaulty in terms of the same amount of gap same thing here it almost feels like loose wrist and fingers compared to the intensity and energy that it has so i'm not saying that you go into full fists but maybe like something more tense in the fingers could be cool but yeah mostly a little bit of a, a strong figure eight arc in the head here that's kind of that. It's very, very cool. All right. 
there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.